Hey guys, welcome back with the Aprilia Tuono 1100. Just like many Aprilia Tuono 1100 of this age, the hand grips are starting to get a little dated, they're starting to crack, and it's time to replace it. The best solution would be to put OEM hand grips on because they take care of the bump on the left hand side, but they're also not the greatest, so I want to replace it with something else. And just because we're up here as well, let's also take care of the mirror and uh, give a try to some bar and mirror, which I usually don't like, but enough for the chit chat, let's get on it. For time's sake, I already removed the mirrors and the bar ends. When it comes to the bar ends, those bar ends over here are really, really heavy, and there is a reason for it. The heavier the bar ends at the end of the handlebar, the less vibration you're gonna get. We're gonna forsake comfort for better look right now because, well, because we all wanna look at something pretty. So there it is. But let's take a quick look at my quest to find uh, a decent mirror without having to spend a fortune. So far, I went from the floppy giant here that are those OEM mirrors, moved on to those Rizoma knockoff um, that are those, which were uh, much better. I actually liked the look. Of, uh, of this, but because I wanted to add something to my KTM uh, on the handguards, I ended up going on Amazon and buying those things. So we're gonna try them out and we're gonna install them over here on the Aprilia. And this is exactly how I'm gonna install it. I'm gonna install it upside down because uh, up here you get a whole lot of elbow down here you're actually looking inside down there. Obviously, we're going to take care of the mirrors a little later because we need to replace the, the hand grips first. If you still have the OEM handlebars, you have one of those. It's a 24 millimeters and you just have to pull it off. Now, the reason why I'm not getting rid of this is gonna be clear once I start installing the, the new mirrors, but take it off, put it aside. Now, the classic way of removing the end grips, it's always the same. Little bit of air, put it in. And pull out, easy enough. So my grips of choice are pro grip not Domino, not any other brand. Just because I always had Pro Grip, I have it on the Scrambler and love it. They're soft, they're rubbery, and a pretty good grip. So it's in the name, Pro Grip. This is the culprit right here. Uh, the thing you can do is either shave this portion of the plastic, but I wouldn't recommend it. And either way, you're gonna have the two bolts holding it in place, they're gonna be bulging out anyway. So the other thing you can do, since pretty much the, the shape or the size is similar, there is a lot of meat over here, a lot of extra rubber. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a blade and shave off some on the edge. Now, pay attention not to shave too much, Otherwise, you're gonna poke a hole through it. Let's uh, install the easy one though on the on the throttle side. To install the grip and make it easy on myself, I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna use a solution of water, soap, and rubbing alcohol. And at the same time, I'm gonna probably use some air trying to put, put it in. I'm gonna put this thing back on. It moves freely enough. I like the positioning. I can see the Pro Grip brand. I can see the red accents. I like it. Moving on. 
So this is the result. Uh, not the cleanest job in the world, but it should do. It should make it happen. So let's put it on the bike. All right, for good measure, I actually painted that thing over there because with the OEM bar end that is covered, but with those mirror that is gonna be exposed and I want it black rather than just mystery silver. You guys can figure out how to put this together. This is no rocket science, very easy. One thing I recommend, and that's the reason why I'm keeping those OEM, is because somehow, the bolt that they send you with the mirrors fits exactly in there. So instead of putting, uh, putting in the thing that goes in and expands and it, it never stays where it's supposed to be, I'm gonna use the OEM attachment. Before you tie it up, we need to do two things. Install the one on that side, then get on the bike and make sure that at full lock, it doesn't touch the, the tank. Let's figure out where we want it and adjust it. First, I'm gonna adjust for uh, where I wanna see, which is about there. And now I'm gonna check for clearance against the, bar, against the tank. And it looks pretty good, so I'm gonna tie it. Remember, there is still a certain level of adjustability. At this point, one last step to tidy everything up. And I'm talking about those giant holes on the, where the mirrors used to be. I got those little things on Amazon. They were cheap and they are perfect. They just fit in there spot on. All done. And this might be the most uh, improvement per dollar spent. Meaning uh, I never <laughs> spent so little on the Tuono and made such an impact on, on the way it looks. It looks pretty good. Sincerely, it, it really looks good. The, the grips not only are functional and feel great on my hands, but they actually look good on the bike. And uh, as much as I'm against uh, bar and mirrors, those mirrors don't look half bad and they did not cost a fortune. I like it, like it quite a bit. But thank you very much to my patrons because without them, all of this will not be possible. So. Thank you. Other than that, thank you very much to everybody else that keep watching my videos somehow, for whatever reason. If you're not a subscriber, why not join in? It's free. Or go get yourself one of my shirts. They're uh, over there. They're my shirt. Get yourself one. Other than that, I hope you guys appreciate what I'm doing over here. And I'll see you next time. Wh whatever that thing is called. It's a Mosasaurus. I, sure, it, 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 I bet it is. You're not gonna paint that thing. Just the top. No, <laughs> not even painting the top. Not even the flippers? Not even the flippers. These are the smallest things. Can I paint your face? Yes, only if I can paint this. Yeah, that's a no on both counts then. Never mind, that backfired. Anyway. <laughs>